friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to see one more question on case study based questions this is part 24 and previously we have uploaded 24 pa 23 parts watch all this 23 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions are being asked as the case study based questions and how to deal with such questions there was one comment on one of my video of one mark questions part 6 by manoj kumar he writes that thanks sir very knowledgeable series of questions sir my humble request to you if possible please upload some practice video of study based questions particularly on coordinate geometry of class 10 maths always respect and love you sir regards thank you very much manoj kumar i have already uploaded 24 parts of case study based questions and in that there are two three questions based on coordinate geometry and today i am once again posting another question of case study based question particularly on coordinate geometry thank you very much for your positive comments now let us move to the question friends here is the question on the screen that ayush starts walking from his house to office instead of going to the office directly he goes to the bank first from there to his daughter's school and then reaches to the office assume that all the distances are covered in straight lines if the house is situated at a point whose coordinates 2 and 4 bank at a point whose coordinates are 5 and 8 and school at a point whose coordinates are 13 and 14 and the office at the uh, point whose coordinates are 13 and 26 and the coordinates are in kilometers now friends here ayush starts walking from his house and first instead of going to the office he first goes to the bank he goes to the bank then from bank he goes to the daughter's office the uh, daughter's school and then from daughter's school he reaches to the office and you have to find that the questions which are asked below so here is the first question on the screen the question is that what is the distance between house and the bank what is the distance between the house and the bank friends here the coordinates of all these points are given and we can find the distance between that two points whose coordinates are given uh, by using the distance formula here friends it is given that the office is situated uh, at a point whose coordinates are 2 and 4 house is situated house is situated at a distance of 2 and 4 sorry this is not 2 and 4 house is situated at a distance of uh, at a point whose coordinates are 2 and 4 and the bank is situated at a point whose coordinates are 5 and 8 and now we can find the distance between the house and the bank so here friends we can find the distance between house and bank hb distance that by using the distance formula that square root of x2 minus x1 that is 5 minus 2 bracket square 5 minus 2 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 that is 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 bracket square which is equal to 5 minus 2 will be 3 and 3 square will be 9 plus 8 minus 4 will be 4 4 square will be 16 this will be under root and which is equal to square root of 25 and so hb is equal to 5 units if it is in kilometers then it will be kilometer or if it is in meter it will be meter so here the correct option that the distance between the house and the bank is a option will be the correct option that is 
now move to the next question now friends here we have to find the distance between the daughter school and the bank this distance we have to find the bank is situated at a point whose coordinates are 5 and 8 and the daughter school is situated at a point whose coordinates are 13 and 14 and therefore bank to school this distance we can find by using the distance formula that is x2 minus x1 that is 13 minus 5 13 minus 5 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 that is 14 minus 8 bracket square and so which is equal to 13 minus 5 that is 8 and 8 square that will be equal to 64 plus 14 minus 8 that will be 6 6 square that will be 36 and so 64 plus 36 that is 100 and so it will be square root of 100 will be 10 and therefore the B option is the correct option that the distance between the daughter's house school and the bank is 10. Now move to the next question. What is the distance between the house and the office? What is the distance between the house and the office? The coordinates of a point where the house is situated are 2 and 4 and the office is situated at a point whose coordinates are 13 and 26 and we have to find this distance again we will use the distance formula here so house to office this distance can be calculated as x2 minus x1 that is 13 minus 2 that will be 11 square plus 26 minus 4 that will be 22 square so 11 square will be 121 plus 22 square that will be 484 and if you add this together 121 plus 484 that will be 605 and if you take the square root of this that will be 24.59 and approximately it will be 24.6 kilometer correct because these points are given in kilometer actually this option should also be given in kilometer but whatever it may be 24.6 therefore the a option is the correct option 24.6 kilometer now let us move to the next question now here in the previous question we have got the distance between the house and office that is 24.6 kilometer this is 5 kilometer and this is 10 kilometer what is the total distance traveled by Ayush to reach the office? Correct. First from office he went to bank, then from bank to the daughter's school and from daughter's school to the office. So total distance he traveled that is 5 km plus 10 km plus distance between the daughter's school and the office. This distance we will have to first calculate and the coordinates of the daughter's house uh, sorry daughter school is school is 13 comma 14 and that of the office office is 13 comma 26 so first we will have to find this distance that is 13 uh, and 14 are the coordinates at the point of the point where the school is situated and 13 and 26 are the coordinates of the point at which the office is situated therefore this distance from daughter schools to office that is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 that is 13 minus 13 will be 0 its square will be 0 and therefore y2 minus y1 that is 26 minus 14 that will be 12 and so 12 square will be 144 and therefore SO distance will be 12 kilometer. So this distance is 12 kilometer. We have got this distance also and therefore the distance traveled by Ayush to reach the office, the total distance that is 5 kilometer, 10 kilometer and 12 kilometer. So 5 and 10 will be 15, 
फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेल्व दैट विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर एंड सो द डी ऑप्शन शुड बी द विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द एक्स्ट्रा डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय आयुष वॉट इज द एक्स्ट्रा डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय आयुष दिस इज फाइव किलोमीटर दिस इज टेन किलोमीटर दिस डिस्टेंस वी हैव गॉट एट ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर एंड दिस डिस्टेंस ऑफिस टू हाउस दिस डिस्टेंस वी हैव गॉट एज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर करेक्ट सो इफ ही डायरेक्टली गोज फ्रॉम हाउस टू ऑफिस ही विल हैव टू ट्रेवल ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर बट एक्चुअली ही ट्रेवल ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर वेन ही फॉलोड दिस पाथ सो दट एक्स्ट्रा डिस्टेंस ही ट्रेवल विल बी ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोमीटर माइनस 24.6 किलोमीटर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू 2.4 किलोमीटर एंड दर फॉर द थर्ड ऑप्शन विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज 2.4 किलोमीटर दैट विल बी द एक्स्ट्रा डिस्टेंस ही ट्रेवल्ड टू रीच द ऑफिस फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू मस्ट हैव एंजॉय दिस वीडियो इफ यस प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video